Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly, truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Happy Sunday, everyone. Okay, so you guys, today I have went through my collection and I have pulled out 14. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long video, grab a snack. I have pulled out 14 fragrances that I think would be perfect for signature scents. Now, I don't have a signature scent. I've never been the type of gal that had a signature scent. However, I do feel that if I had to, I could choose one of these as a signature scent. A signature scent is something that you wear all the time. Every time someone smells it, they know that it's you. If you were to go somewhere, maybe a party, or I don't know where parties are nowadays, but if you were to go somewhere and you were to leave your jacket behind, your coat, your scarf, anything that had the fragrance that lingered on it, they would know, oh my God, this has to be Sheree's. This must belong to Sheree because this smells just like her fragrance. It's something that someone would smell and they would automatically think of you. Some people really love signature scents. I just love fragrances so much that it's really hard to choose one and rock it and wear it all the time. But I do have 14 today that I am going to share with you that I think would be perfect for signature scents. And not only that, these are signature scents that can be worn year round. Of course, it's all gonna depend on how you spray them, how heavy you spray them, some you don't wanna spray as heavy, and then it is going to depend on your style, everything like that. But you can wear them year round, morning, noon, night, from a date to a brunch. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Also, let me make mention, here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. I'm a huge lover of fragrance. So if you like any of those things, or perhaps you're like me, and you like all things fabulous, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Okay, for real now, without further ado, let's go. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, you guys, because you know I can talk. So I'm gonna give you the rundown and the lowdown. I'm going in no particular order. I'm just grabbing and going. I'm still trying to get used to this side part. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna start with a classic elegant lady. This is a beautiful, timeless to me type of fragrance. It can be worn year round. Like I said, it can be worn from the work office space. It can be worn to lunch. It can be worn to brunch. It can even be worn on a date night. Is it a hard, heavy, sexy? No, but it is really classy and elegant and that's going to be Mrs. Dior. This is Mrs. Dior. This is the original one. This is the EDP, bergamot, citrus, jasmine, rosewood, patchouli, musk. It is a beautiful fragrance. I had to have this in my closet. Collection. I stumbled upon it. Well, I knew about it, but I went to the Bloomingdale's and I just sprayed it on because I don't have a lot of Dior fragrances, but I really like Dior. So I want to add more to my collection, but it has to be something that I really like. So I had been, I sprayed it on at the counter, walked around for a little bit and I was like, oh my God, I really like that. There is a time and place in my life for this lady. And like I said, I just find it to be classy, elegant. I find it to be like a place, a, per, a, a lady, I find that this can be worn by any of those ladies trying to give up that type of vibe. I don't think it's your young, hot and sexy, but like I said, I don't age discriminate fragrances. I believe anywhere from a 20 year old to a 90 year old can rock this fragrance. I move on. This next one needs to be an honorable mention because it doesn't like me. I bought it for this very purpose that it was very versatile, it was very light, it could be worn anytime, any place, especially in the workplace. I used to work at the gym and so sometimes I would like to put on a fragrance before I went in to teach a class or anything like that. The gym are closed now so that's why I'm not there anyhow um the fragrance is amazing grace I just have this little one here I picked it up at the Coles I have a whole story time behind this fragrance you guys it is a beautiful fragrance however it doesn't smell on me I spray it I put it on for about the first 10 to 15 minutes and then after about an hour it's like disappeared it's like it's non-existent it's no longer there but I did not want to leave it out because it is such a nice fragrance I mean it's white floral mandarin orange bergamot grapefruit jasmine it's light it's floral i believe any age can wear this it's very mass appealing crowd pleasing i've heard so many different things about the formula change somebody bought it over yada 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 whatever okay i wanted to bring it and share it with you because i do believe it's a great signature scent however on me it's just non-existent I move on. Another one that is a bomb of a fragrance and it is so sexy. You definitely can wear this morning, noon, or night. You can definitely wear this on that date. And yes, I'm talking about that date date. You can wear this one and that is none other than Victor and Roth and this is Flower Bomb. This is a warm spicy. This is Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Patchouli, Rose. It is a beautiful, 
sexy. Yes, say it. Oh my gosh, I love it. It hits different when it's sexy. And this is definitely like a grenade. This is just like a flower bomb, a flower explosive. I talk about this fragrance all the time. I reach for it more in the fall and the winter, but it can be worn year round. Just don't spray as heavy because this too is long lasting. The longevity is there. The siage is there. I have definitely had my share of times of over spraying this and I was like, oh yeah, I went too hard. But this one here, amazing signature scent, flower bomb. I move on. Another one, here it is here. Another one I think that could be a signature scent. I just recently added this to my collection. Um, it was a gift from the House of Seals, you guys. This is the WW84. I really love this fragrance. It's so vanilla and so creamy and I've heard several different people say different things. It's light, they can't smell it, it disappears. On me, it must love me because it gets on my body and it just engulfs itself into it and it becomes very creamy, it becomes alive. Like I said, it has vanilla, it has musk, it has a Tulum almond oil, um, raspberry, pink pepper. It's just a beautiful fragrance and the thing about it is, is that I originally received this in the summer, I believe, or spring, summer, and I wore it like, you know, during very hot climates, very hot weather, and it performed and it lasts really well. I sleep in this. I mean, I could wear this today, tonight, and it is, wait for it, it's a sensual, um, vibe kind of sexy it's not giving you the most it's not doing like a passion de l'amour or it's not doing like a tom ford rose prick or it's not doing like a tom ford black orchid but it does give you a very sexy scent you can wear this to the office you wouldn't be off putting you could wear this to work you can wear this to church you can wear this to a, a wedding fragrance would be good it's just a very sensual soft creamy Vanilla, oh God, let's spray it, girl. Just spray it. This one is good. Could this be my scent of the day? I don't know. Yeah, I like this one. If you have not had a chance to get a whiff of it, I highly recommend it. I mean, and look at the bottle, okay? Come on, I move on. Here is another signature scent. That sun is coming through so bright, but uh, let's keep going. Here's another signature scent. Now, I don't hear a lot about this at all. I stumbled upon this and got a really great deal on it at the Nordstrom's Rack. I picked it up. Um, I just went off. This was, I guess it was kind of like a blind buy, but not really because I sniffed it <laughs> through the box and I went up to ask them if I could open it and if they would let me smell it and they were like, okay, blah, 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 blah. You know, the story they give you. So I'm like, all right. So I picked it up. I read the notes and I said, this seems like something I would like. Girl, tell us, what is it? You guys, I don't hear a lot about this. This this is Bottega Veneta. This is, I believe, the original one. It is white floral woody leather. It is earthy, patchouli. It's, the leather is very creamy though. It's not like the leather that's in my Tenciana Terenzi, um, Sparentino Florentino. It's not like that kind of leather. This leather is almost like the leather that it has on the cap. It's very soft, it's very creamy, it's very dainty, but this is a boss woman. Like this is something that I would wear if I worked in the office, if I worked on Wall Street, and I just wanted to come into the office and let them know that she's here, she plays no game. I'm real serious, you know what I mean? But not like that because at the end of it, and some have taken it and mistaken it for, or maybe interpreted it with their nose to being very mature or old, as some people would say. I don't get that, I just get refined. I get arrived, I've been here before, I know how to act, I'm not new. This is what I expect. These are my expectations. There's levels to this and I've reached it. Hello, if you followed that, hit the like button. Oh my God, okay, did I give you guys the notes? Bergamot, pink pepper, jasmine. It is just a very luxurious, um, signature, captivating, boss woman type of vibe fragrance. And this is Bottega Veneta. Yes, I smelled the other one. I still prefer this one. I like this one better. In my opinion, it's good, good. And it's not like, is it sexy? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta give you, if it's sexy, hold on you guys, hold on. Just in case you went in at five, at nine, and you needed to leave out by five with him. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, it has a little bit of sexy to it. A refined luxury. Um, I'm still not here to play any games type of sexy. Like if you're gonna step to me, come correct or don't come at all. She's one of those, I move on. Another one, this is just making the list this year, okay? And I'm super excited that it is because I don't care how many people don't like this fragrance, I absolutely love it. And I already know, please don't leave me any comments about it. It's basic, everybody has it. But this is what I will say, more than I get that, because I find a lot of people really love this fragrance. The only thing that I keep hearing about it is that it doesn't last, it doesn't perform on people. One woman, and shout out to you, you know who you are, she told me, Sheree, I went in to spray the fragrance that you recommended. I wanted to get a whiff of it, and that was a really smart thing to do. Always try if you can before you buy. And she said, before I even got out of the store, good I cannot smell it anymore and it is yes the infamous famous 
YSL Black Opium Warm Spicy Sweet Gourmand Black Coffee White Floral Vanilla Sexy um, creamy. I just love it though. For me, it just gets it on all attributes. This could definitely be a signature fragrance. This is sexy, but it's not doing too much of a sexy. It's it's sweet, it's gourmand. You don't want to spray, well, heck, if you can't smell it on yourself, you might want to spray heavy. For me, this gives great longevity. And like I said, everybody's body chemistry is different. That's why every time you watch a review or someone's first impression or opinion, when I say try it before you buy it, it's just because I don't want you to get stuck with something. Sometimes a blind buy works out really good. I have been making some blind buys. Um, just crossing my fingers and praying and they've worked out well so far but I'm just saying this one here can take it from the boardroom to the meeting room to the office to the okay just go with it okay to the date to the end of the date early into the morning of the date you know what I mean it's one of those it's very versatile and I believe that it could be worn year-round it all depends on how you spray but for me black opium YSL I love it I have not had a chance to get my nose on the new one that came out I believe it's called I don't even know what it's called you guys but I haven't had a chance to get my nose on it as soon as I am able to I will definitely come back and let you know my thoughts first opinions and impressions on that I move on another long-lasting beautiful classy sophisticated woman would be this woman here and this is Joel Dior this is a fruity floral ylang ylang uh, jasmine it's very long lasting I find this can be worn like I said any and everywhere this can go from day to night I don't get a huge amount of sexy this woman is a different kind of sexy she's not the kind of sexy that's just like putting it in your face she's very subdued she's very confident but she doesn't have to you know come in the room and announce herself she's very graceful when she comes in you know what i mean but you know she's there she has a silent presence that's what i get when i think of christian dior this fragrance i know that they did come out with a new one i did smell it i believe it is really good i love this bottle in itself it's just so elegant and so classy i hope you're able to see that it's just a beautiful bottle in itself and this for me on me is very long lasting and i it could be long lasting because it's really just really long lasting but I do have the body cream, uh, the lotion, so I layer that and then I put this on and eight to 10 hours, I am good. It doesn't leave, it doesn't disappear. And I just believe it's all the way around a good signature scent year round i move on this is going to be in there as well delina rhubarb leche nutmeg i mean rhubarb the sour note that's in there i love the sour note it actually does it for me it's one of the things that makes the fragrance so good in my opinion i didn't even know that i really liked that note until i got this fragrance this is amazing this can be a great signature scent this is definitely a scent that if someone smells it and you wore it all the time they're definitely going to think of you it's very um when you smell it you know what it is when i've seen people are out in public when we were going out um i would see people and when they would have this on i automatically when they walked past i knew what they were wearing it was just delina it's it's not a let's see it's a classic in my opinion because i absolutely love it um it's one that i'm super excited to have in my collection i just feel that this can be worn from a day date uh, a picnic date a day in the park um, I feel it could be very whimsical and very aromatic and very just like fun loving and free spirited and then I also feel it can be worn on a date night you know what I mean if your date wasn't gonna go there there but it was gonna go there and I didn't mean there if you got what I meant just hit the like button if you didn't hit the subscribe button you need to come back you'll get it I promise but Delita is a great way to go this would be an amazing signature scent if you had somebody say oh my gosh Sheree must be here. It smells like Delina. That would be a good attachment to have to you. So yes, Delina can get it year round. It is an amazing signature scent. And let me just say this, compliment getter, ink, ink, ink. Very long lasting, ink, ink, ink. Okay, where did that come from? I have no idea. Okay, you guys, I move on. Another one that I really don't speak about on the channel that much anymore, but I have put it back in the rotation. Girl, guy, tell us, what is it? You guys, it is Tiffany & Co. This is sheer, this is a fresh floral. It's sparkling, it's upbeat, it's very clean. This is definitely a work fragrance. Definitely could be worn day, night, brunch, shopping anywhere like that those are the places i go so that's what i could tell you i don't know where other people are going but i would definitely say it could be a signature scent it's very clean what does it have black currant ylang ylang it has mandarin rose oil it is a beautiful fragrance it's a very fresh type of floral very sparkling very clean it can be worn year round i get night day do you get sexy an innocent kind of sexy it's a 
definitely an innocent kind of sexy i wouldn't put this on to secure the bag i'm just saying i'm just saying do not take that out of contact but i'm just saying this would not be what i was going to put on at night but i do think it would make for a great signature scent i move on okay <laughs> cracking myself up of course you know of course you know there was no way we could even do this video without mentioning this fragrance here and that is a classic everybody probably has it if you don't you need it in your life every woman man boy child every human needs a little what wait for it chanel in their life this is coco mademoiselle a warm floral this is orange patchouli turkish rose it's fresh it's an oriental fragrance i believe the intense version to me is amplified and it has a little bit more sexiness to it a little bit more depth so if you wanted to make it a signature scent you can go with the intense version or you can go with the classic original both can be worn year round winter spring summer fall you already know this fragrance has been around for a good reason for a long time it is an iconic it is a classic need i say more hold on it is Chanel and it is good good. I absolutely love this fragrance. I, I need to get a new bottle. I will as soon as I run out of this one. <sighs> it brings back so many memories. This right here is long lasting. I will say that a lot of people might say, you smell like everybody else. You know, everybody wears this fragrance. Um, you guys, good things are followed by trends for a reason. I mean, if you put it on your body chemistry, you're not going to smell identical to someone else. Yes, you might have remnants of them. But remember what I always tell you. There's only one you, okay? Only you have your fingerprints. So can't nobody do it like you, okay? I'm just one of a kind. There's not another charade. I'm just saying. I move on. Coco Mademoiselle. Another one. Now, this is going to be for the mature, classy, sophisticated and it's timeless it's iconic it is just like oh my gosh I can't believe you're talking about that one yes I am you guys Neroli classic Alder Heidi even Bergamot Jasmine Lily of the Valley Iris this is none other bourbon vanilla this is the original classic Chanel number no. five I love this fragrance. I don't know. I just, okay, can I have a story time? Okay, a 2.5. When I would go into the stores, the hotels, um, for high teas, um, libraries, anywhere like that, like somewhere where it's very, you know, formal or informal, or I guess it was more formal. The women smell like this. You know, the ones that would come over to help you. Shrey, why are you talking so loud? You guys, I get so excited, okay? When I see the camera and I know that you guys are watching and I'm there, I feel like we're there together like friends in my head and I get really, really excited. But I mean, and then I just talk loud. That was my whole point for mentioning that. But anyways, that is how the women would smell. And I always said, I want to smell like this. She just smelled rich. She smelled classy. You know, there's a difference between being having a little money and then making it and then you know having it this lady is wealthy she owns it you know what i mean she's not cashing a check she's cutting a check there's levels to this and she's on a different level okay and i absolutely love it okay i move on this next fragrance is amazing i will say you do need to like ginger it is very heavily ginger on me i can smell the ginger it's beautiful it's classic to me i feel that it's very age appropriate from like i said from a 20 year old to a 90 year old i believe it can be or winter spring summer or fall you could wear it any and everywhere we're gonna put it to the test and see if it's sexy I am talking about Twilly D Hermes I've recently added this to my collection this is two bros ginger sandalwood it is an oriental spicy warm fragrance they have it specified for spring and summer I like it year-round I had a few decants of it I even have a smaller one than this and I just said that's it girl you need to add a complete bottle to the collection so we did and Oh my gosh, so this is gonna be the my scent of the day. Oh, I found my scent of the day. Yes, I think, really? Wait a minute, I think so. This is gonna be my scent of the day. Twilly D, oh, sorry. <laughs> Twilly D Hermes, you guys, this can get it. Okay, this is really good. Um, I'm not getting sexy, sexy in that sexy kind of way, but I do think it is an amazing signature scent. I think that it can be worn, like I said, year round. You can actually spray heavy with this. I'm not encouraging it, I do. I think this is gonna be my scent of the day. I just, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so clean, it's so effervescent. Would you say that? Yes, I just love it. it. It makes me happy. It's one of those that's like a mood lifter. I guess probably because I got this around, um, quarantine and I would spray this and it would uplift my mood and make me happy so yeah this is gonna be my scent of the day okay so if I did not say it you guys Twilly D Hermes another amazing great signature scent I move on and this last one is amazing 
I have heard countless stories about this raven, so allow me to take 2.5 to share some of them with you, as well as my own story. I have heard that this raven disappears. I have heard that people have gone, you know, nose blind to it. You just can't smell it anymore. Some people have said it's very medicinal. Some people have said it's very Band-Aid. There are so many different fragrances that smell like this or close to this or have reminisce of this. Yes, you've guessed it. It is the famous Baccarat Rouge Tri 40. This is an amazing signature scent. You have jasmine, saffron, amberwood, ambergris, reason, reason, cedar. It's good. I told you I went into the store. I sprayed it on because I heard so much about it and I had to get my nose on it. You know, I was looking at this time of my perfume collection type of time or not really collection because I'm not a perfume collector I am a perfume lover I was looking to expand my um fragrance sense fragrance knowledge I wanted it to be a little bit more depth I was tired of smelling like the perfume counter I was tired of smelling like you know everything else like nothing really groundbreaking earth shattering I was just tired of the I should I don't want to say um the everydays okay it was different and i went inside of was it neiman marcus i believe so and i picked it up they didn't have the one there with it they have the ones that have the juice in it actually behind the counter so if you ever experienced that tell them can you give me the juice from behind the counter so i can spray it because typically the ones that are up on the display are empty already so i picked it up i sprayed it on i couldn't place it i couldn't compartmentalize it I was stuck and, and, and I wasn't like a, I don't like it I was just like what is this you know what I mean I smell a little brown sugar I smell a little bit of burnt I smell a little bit of it was just like I don't get it so I said okay I'm gonna spray it on myself they gave me a few samples I had a really great experience there I went to dinner at dinner I could not stop smelling my hand and I was like oh my god that's it I want it it's good like it had to get on the body it had to go to work but I had to sit with it and even I brought it I didn't go back and get it that day I came home I played with it for about a week I went back and bought the lotion the body oil and I'm like let me see if I really want it because this is a pretty penny so I'm like let me see if I really want to invest in it like that you guys I sat with it for a while and then I was like that's it I need it I have the oil I have the lotion I have the body cream wait 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 for it I have the candle okay she was invested in this fragrance okay the candle let's just take a 2.5 it's good it's amazing it does not scent up my entire home you know what I mean like if I burn this downstairs I can't smell it upstairs that's how I test the candle if you're really really good um it's okay for the price point I pass. I'm just saying, in case you were thinking about getting the candle, in my opinion, for me, I'll pass. I'm glad I got it, I experienced it, but I wouldn't purchase it again. I'm just saying. I've had Bath & Body Works candles that have sent it up the home and they didn't cost nearly as much. So back to the fragrance, because you know I digress, but I always bring it back. So back to the fragrance, this would be an amazing signature scent. It depends on your body chemistry. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it's there, sometimes you could smell it, very prevalent, very there. And then it's not just you, you're not alone. It does it to me as well. I've heard from several other people, it does it to them as well. It just leaves. Okay, where it goes, it takes a break, maybe it takes a nap, maybe it goes to lunch, maybe it goes off for the day, I have no idea. But it does leave. Now, if you want one that does not leave and does not uh, disappear, I would go with Baccarat Rouge 540, the Extrite version. That is it, you guys. Those are the lists that I feel would be amazing signature scents. You can wear them winter, spring, summer, fall, from the office to the date, to the lounge, to the church, to the brunch, you name it, you can wear these fragrances too. You always know what I say, spray what you want, when you want, spray what makes you happy, life is short. Leave any of your questions in the comment section below and I want to hear from you. What fragrance would you consider to be a great signature scent? Leave it in the comments section below. I want to hear from you. Help out someone else that might be looking for a new signature scent. Until then, I will see you all in the next video. You know the drill. Be blessed. Stay fit. Stay fabulous. But more importantly, wear your mask. Don't forget to vote and stay safe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.